Hi, welcome back to the Cozy Sound channel and another rainy day project. Although at the moment it's more like a snowy day project. The weather has turned a bit uh, cold and wintry uh, around here at the moment. But hey, it's still a good excuse to stay indoors, keep warm and have a play around with a simple uh, audio electronics project. Uh, this particular project was inspired by a video I, I watched on the uh, battery operated website. I'll, I'll put the links for that. Um, and the guys there did a, a very simple speed control on a cassette player. Um, this is my cassette player. This is what we're going to be talking about. I have done motor speed control on tape players before, but on those occasions I've used a 555 counter to provide pulse width modulation control over the DC motor speed. This is a much simpler hack. In most, if not all, tape players, cassette players, there will be a preset pot that calibrates the speed of the motor so that music cassettes play at the right speed. What this hack does is replace that preset with a variable potentiometer. So you can vary the speed of the motor rather than preset it. And there is the warning. If you're going to do this, you will lose the calibration of your motor for playing ordinary recorded cassettes. Um, so bear that in mind if you're going to go down this, this route, but the idea behind this is that we're not interested in playing things at the normal speed, we're interested in changing that speed. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling a bit here. If we look inside the this particular cassette player, it looks like this. Now unfortunately I didn't take a picture of it with the preset in place. But this preset that's at the side of it here um, came out of this position on the circuit board here. Um, this is a very simple one. It's a two-leg preset, so it's just a variable resistor. It's not doesn't have three legs on it like most potentiometers. But you can just replace it with an ordinary potentiometer um, and just use two of the legs um, to get the variable resistor. I played around with a few values of a potentiometer, um, which is a good idea because all these circuits will vary to some extent. And the one I landed on was a, a 5K pot. Now I used a, a small 9mm pot because it was small enough to fit in just behind the battery case and still get everything back together and screwed tight. So yeah, that's pretty much all I did. I, I replaced that preset with a 5k pot, screwed the case back together, put a knob on it, and hey presto, we have speed control. But how does it work? Is it any good? What does it sound like? Let's go and have a listen to a quick demo. All I've got here is it's just simply plugged into the mixer so we can hear what's coming out of it. Um, I've got a tape loop here that I made. Um, incidentally, on the battery operator website, there's some there's a great tutorial there on on how to make various designs of, of tape loop as well. So yeah, if you're going to go and check out their uh, cassette mods, then then check that out as well. Um, okay, the so the tape loop I've got it's it's a, a short loop from my incidental number one track that I uh, recorded a, a while back. Um, so the way I've got it set at the moment is approximately the normal speed. So it's just a short sequence there. Now what I have found if I slow the speed down, the 
that's about as slow as it will go. So it doesn't slow it down a lot really, it's, it's actually not a lot. Not a lot of adjustment on slowing it down. But the thing is my pulse width modulation system is very good at slowing things down. What this is very good at is speeding things up. It's all very lo-fi, but that's all part of it, that's all part of the character of this. And the fact that I've now got a system that I can significantly speed up is a nice complement for my other speed controllers, which only slow things down. So yeah, it'll, it'll sit nicely as, a, as an alternative uh, speed control method within a, um, a tape session um, and it's still get some really good effects out of it talking of effects dial in a little bit of uh, reverb and delay So there you go, a very, very simple motor speed cassette, motor speed hike. Um, it really very quick, very easy. So if you've got a, a cassette player that you're willing to sacrifice uh, its calibrated speeds for and have fun with just uh, tweaking the speed, maybe even adding effects then. It's very, very simple. So go on, have a go, build your own.